Google just announced a brand new product called Bard, AKA Bard AI, which is its latest attempt to enter the conversational AI market. So what exactly is Bard AI? Well, according to Google Sundar Pichai, Bard AI is an experimental conversational AI service. What this means is that it's going to be able to answer queries and take place in everyday type of conversations. Essentially what ChatGPT is doing, but on steroids. According to Google, the goal of Bard is to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge with the power, intelligence, and creativity of our large language models. Now, the good news is that Bard AI is already available to a group of trusted testers, and it's gonna be more widely available to the public in the coming weeks. This move by Google is a direct response to the success of OpenAI's ChatGPT, which has taken the AI world by storm. From the information that we have so far, Bard AI seems to be just as free ranging as ChatGPT. So basically this is going to allow users to ask practical questions like how to plan a baby shower or what kind of meals can be made from a list of ingredients. Google also mentions that Bard AI will draw on the information from the web in order to provide fresh and high quality responses. Now Google is taking a more cautious approach to sharing its AI tools with the public. Unlike OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google is not rolling this out to everyone at once. It's going to be a select number of trusted people that are going to be giving feedback on this. According to Google, they're going to be combining that external feedback with its own internal testing to make sure that Bard AI's responses meet a high bar of quality, safety, and groundedness for real world information. Now, before we move ahead with the rest of the announcement, if you found this video helpful so far, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so that we can bring you more content just like this. In addition to Bard AI, Google is also going to be integrating AI into its many products, including search. So soon you'll be seeing AI powered features and products within YouTube, Google, everything basically. Now there's currently no information yet on how much Bard AI is gonna cost. Is it going to be free like ChatGPT? Well, there probably will be some free plans. There's probably gonna be native integration into services like YouTube, Google search, Google assistant, I feel like Google's gonna have a way broader reach than OpenAI can, mainly just because they already have so many products that everyone uses, everyone loves, and it's just gonna be an easier adoption that way. Now for people that are trying to do more premium things, businesses, using the API, there's going to be costs associated with that for sure, but right now we just don't know what that's going to be. Now it seems that BART will be able to answer questions about recent events, which is something that ChatGPT struggles with and just can't do because the training data cuts off a little bit after 2021. So Google's going to have that competitive advantage right now because if you can do current events, you can do a lot more than ChatGPT can currently. Now there are Chrome extensions that you can use to try to get some more recent data into ChatGPT, but having that native integration directly from Google is gonna be way better and a way smoother and reliable type of technology. Now for bloggers and content creators, it's important to consider what the implications of using Google's AI is gonna mean for your website. If Google decides later that their stance on AI generated content is bad or that they're gonna penalize it, if you're using Bard AI to create content for your site that you're trying to rank on Google, they're gonna know. So it's important to keep a close eye on this and as things evolve, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're gonna be covering everything as it develops and you wanna be notified, hit those notification buttons. So is Bard AI going to be the chat GPT killer? Is this gonna be something that you see yourself using in the future? Is this gonna to totally be the biggest thing ever, being that we're talking about Google here and they have data on every single aspect of the internet, basically. Let me know in the comment section what you think and stay tuned for the next video because we're gonna cover something pretty interesting.